time to go viral. viral. I'm homicidal, I'm killing all my rivals. Yeah. I'm the man, shit, I put that on the Bible. I spot off on my target, cause you know I got the title. Hey, I'm a Mac too. Mac I told baby, shake that ass like she apple. Oh. She said it's real, so she got my name tattooed. Yeah. House full, so I hit it in the back room. Oh. Baby, baby said she need a nail, peep the urgency. urgency. I want a little Kim before she had the surgery. Mm. Leg spread on that hardcore poster. She loved twerking, she just do it for the coach. For the coach. Big dog, big dog, bull mass. Bull mass. Six tray Chevrolet, I'm classic. Yeah. All these niggas mad at me, that's tragic. So? The main bitch in the bed, that's graphic. Yeah, we about to go viral. Go viral. Hey, hey, hey. We about to go viral. What's the deal, y'all? I had to double back tonight, man. Talking about this Marlon Wayne's Vlad TV beef. That done ignited. I done got some new information, so I had to double back. You feel me? Man, first of all, let's start from the jump. Vlad hits up Marlon Wayne's. Oh, before we even get into that, man, make sure y'all share, like, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, man. It's free. Support is free. You feel me? Get us in the algorithm. Let us know how y'all feel about the content down in the comments. Y'all already know. Algorithm game, viral game, man. We taking this over. But, yeah, Vlad hits up Marlon Wayans about an interview. Gives him a price. It wasn't a satisfactory price. Marlon came back with a counter offer and gave him what he felt he was worth. So the offer, from what I'm seeing, was Marlon – his team requested $40,000, a $40,000 fee, plus 30% of the interview's future revenue. Vlad is livid. Vlad's livid. He jumps online, starts down-talking Marlon, down-talking his career, saying how Marlon ain't been relevant since whoop de wop and comparing his Breakfast Club interview to, to his Breakfast Club club interview saying that Marlon's Breakfast Club interview only did X amount of views and Vlad's interview did double the amount of views. So Vlad talking like he got more clout than Marlon. Damn near. That's what he's saying. That's what he like. He feel like Marlon is here and he's here, which is absurd because one Marlon is a fucking legend in the game. First of all, just his name alone. He's a Wayne's brother. Legendary family in the show business. Legendary family in Hollywood. Like, you can't even compare DJ Vlad to Wayne's Brothers. Like, that's first and foremost. Let's get that out the way. Second of all, it don't matter how long ago you felt he's been relevant or how long ago it's been since he's been popping and relevant like that. First of all, that's irrelevant. You can't erase history. The man had his own TV show on a major fucking network, something you never did. So... You can talk all the Breakfast Club interview numbers you want. It's fucking irrelevant. I had a, the man had a literal TV show on TV. What the fuck are you talking about? Now, you want to talk numbers. You yelling out Breakfast Club interview numbers and interviews on your channel. You yelling out those numbers. Marlon come back talking box office numbers. I've been in X amount of movies. We generated... 180 million or X amount of millions that cancel out anything you talking about. So I got a, a major TV show on a major TV network. I'm from a legendary family. I've been in legendary movie roles. Like, come on, cause like everybody love white chicks. Everybody love scary movie. Like he didn't been in movies that's etched in history. Nobody's going to remember Vlad if Vlad stopped doing interviews today. Like, nobody's going to give a fuck about DJ Vlad. Like, let's just be real. Now, I'm not jumping out there to cape for Marlon. This is more so about the culture. Like I said in the previous video, what I'm defending is the culture, not necessarily Marlon Wayne's, because Marlon is a part of the culture and these fucking vultures that we allow in the culture. And let's get this understood. Vlad is the guest. Vlad is only relevant because... Our culture made him relevant. Without our culture, Vlad's not relevant. Even the name he chose, DJ Vlad. What was he a DJ for? He was selling mixtapes. A who? Our rappers, our culture. 
he wasn't selling Jewish rapper. He wasn't selling Jewish culture. No, he came over to black culture. And that's how he got on. He made Vlad TV the website and was showcasing black culture to get on. He wasn't showcasing Jewish culture. You're a guest. He's a guest. Point blank, period. So as a guest, you don't get to disrespect the house. Wipe your motherfucking feet before you come in the house. Talk with respect when you come in this house. You don't get to disrespect the house. So anytime these fucking vultures feel like they got enough balls to disrespect the house, that's when we got to discipline. That's when that disciplinary action got to come in and they got to be reminded. And use a motherfucking guest. Take your ass back outside because we let you inside. We'll let you know when you can come back inside. But Vlad is crazy, bro, because as as a grown man and as a person, period, you have the right to set value on yourself. So however valuable you feel you are, that's your right. Now, that's not to say you're going to get the price that you're asking for, but it is your right to ask whatever you want, whatever price you want. So if Vlad come with an offer and Marlon feels, hey, that's beneath me, I'm worth 40,000 and 30% of any future earnings, nigga, that's what I feel I'm owed. If you disagree, respectfully decline, and we could both go on about our way. You go back to doing your interviews, I go back to doing what I'm doing, our life don't change no way. Vlad got mad, one, because he couldn't finesse Martin like he finessed everybody else, pay him peanuts, and then he'd make a lot off the back end. Because he knew what he was trying to do. He was going to pay him peanuts. He was going to do a two, three-hour interview. He was going to chop that in. I was in clips. Then he was going to put the whole interview out in its entirety and eat again. And as the years pass and we keep watching, he keeps making money off the interview. The little upfront fee that he gives you, that's that's it. You don't earn no more revenue after that. That's why Marlon was like, man, hell no. I need 30% of future earnings because I know how this shit works. You're going to make money on this for years to come. Anytime my name get relevant again or something happened involving my name or my family's name, you're going to re-upload the interview and you're going to eat some more. He does that shit all the time. Whenever one of these rappers died at the interview, first thing he do, same day the rapper announced dead, boom, put the interview out, eat again. He don't send none of the money to their family, no nothing. So Martin was up on that shit. You feel me? So kudos to him for being business savvy. Now, Vlad taking it as, oh, you just don't fuck with me. You don't want to get on the platform. I'd rather you just told me you don't fuck with me. Like, this nigga's ego is so big, he just thinks that no one can feel like they have any self-worth other than what he decides. He believes that they're worth. So the fact that Marlon, a black man, has the audacity to tell Vlad, a Jewish man, that, nigga, I'm worth more than what you offer. Matter of fact, nigga, I'm worth more than you. I got more clout than you. You need me. I don't need you. You're calling me for the interview. See, that's where he got it fucked up. How you down talking somebody that you approach for an interview? If someone's approaching you for an interview, that means they need you more than you need them. They see some type of value in you that they need. So Vlad saw some type of value in Marlon that he needed. Marlon didn't come to that nigga like, hey, man, can I get an interview? What you offering? No, nigga, you hit that nigga up. So how the fuck is you mad that a nigga named the price that he feels he's worth? If you feel he ain't worth the price, don't pay the price. But to get out there and disrespect him publicly, disrespect his legacy publicly, that was a bitch move. That was some female shit. That's some shit a female do. You curve a female, she go jump on Twitter and get the down talking. you like, he did some real bitch emotional ass shit. Then on top of that, this is what I just learned. He blamed shannon sharp mind you he already had been down talking shannon sharp since shannon had the interview with cat williams why because this was the biggest interview in history it broke records it shitted on every interview vlad ever did and vlad wanted that interview so he'd been down talking shannon ever since that interview quiet is kept so this was just another angle for him to take a jab at another successful black man because any successful black man that's in that space that he's in, he's viewing his competition and he throw little darts. 
So he blames Shannon for exposing how much money he generated off of the Cat Williams interview. Well, he broke down the views and he broke down how many millions he made. And man, I made more off that interview than I ever made in my career as a professional football player. So Vlad is saying by him exposing that, that caused Marlon to ask for the number he's asking. Basically alluding to if Shannon would have never opened his fucking mouth about how much we getting paid off these people that we interviewing, I could have continued raping people. But now that he doesn't expose how much bread he's getting, I can't rape people no more because now they know they work. And now they asking for what they know that we've been getting this whole time, that we've been raping them for this whole time. So that's why he's really mad because he can't rape niggas no more. But yeah, Vlad is a culture culture, man. We got to call it what it is. We can't dance around the topic no more. We can't beat around the bush. We can't be politically correct with this shit. Vlad is a guest. Our culture got him popping. He's a fucking vulture because he constantly disrespects the motherfucking culture who made him who he is. He didn't make himself. Nigga, the culture made him. He didn't get in front of the camera and talk his way to those 2 million followers or 1.8 million followers, however much he got. No, nigga, you interview niggas from the culture and they generated the traffic. That's how you got your following. That's how you got your platform. And before you was interviewing niggas, you was putting niggas music video up, music videos up and all type of shit, taking videos from World Star and putting them up. Like, come on, bro. I've been, I was on Vlad TV back in the day. That's the fucked up part. When he was into it with Joe Budden back in the day, when Joey been exposing all this type of shit about Vlad. I didn't even know the nigga was white. This before he ever even showed himself. Nigga, I used to be on Vlad TV heavy back in the day. Back when Ransom was beefing with Joe Budden and he showed up at Joe Budden uh, cousin house, homie house, and smacked the shit out of his mans and caught a case off Vlad, putting that footage up. Niggas been catching cases off Vlad. That's why they be calling this nigga the fucking police. But that's a whole nother topic because I blame niggas for going on there and incriminating themselves. Same way Ransom got in front of that camera, incriminated himself. So we can't blame Vlad for that because y'all gave him the motherfucking ammo to help incriminate y'all. And y'all keep giving him the ammo. But to get out there and blame Shannon Sharp, another legend from the culture. Y'all notice the trend here? He keep disrespecting all the legends from the culture. Anybody in this space that got a name and got some clout who can potentially knock him out. He disrespects them constantly, and niggas still keep going over there. But then he turn around and, and try to blackball niggas like Lord Jamar. When Lord Jamar even mentioned something about the Jews that he don't agree with, oh, you need to apologize to my people. You need to apologize to my culture. Nigga, what? You know what I mean? Niggas you done disrespected over the years? The fuck you mean? what he do? Play, replace Lord Jamar with Godfrey. Him and Godfrey get into it. what he do? Replace Godfrey with... Lil Boosie, here, sign this contract. Why? Because I need you as a recurring guest to keep my platform popping because I can't keep it popping on my own. I can't sustain this without you. Like, come on, cuz niggas got to really think about this type of shit. These vultures need us. We don't need them. We got our own platform. Y'all can come to the viral way and do interviews. Now we the new Vlad. Y'all can go to any Black-owned media space media outlet, podcast, whatever you want to call it. And we can be the Vlads. We can be who these vultures are. Except we not vultures because we really from the culture. So we can benefit off each other. Now we paying each other. We breaking bread with each other. We ain't got to be raping each other or feel like we getting over on each other. But see, niggas don't know how to stick together. You see, they stick together. Lord Jamar said what he said. Vlad got him to fuck up off his platform. Even though Lord Jamar was one of his most viewed guests, he was one of his most popular guests. But Vlad got even the fuck up out of there. And what's wild is, if you notice, Vlad always talked to the niggas on this platform with disrespect. He always got like a disrespectful undertone as if niggas is stupid. But then when he brings his white guests on, them ex mob boss niggas, he talked to them with the utmost respect. But when niggas come on, he arguing niggas down. He giving his, listen, Vlad again. Vlad asks you a question, and before you can answer, he's giving his answer. Like, your answer don't matter, even though you're the fucking guest. So he be bringing niggas on to interview himself sometimes just to prove he's smarter than you. Like, bro, this nigga's egotistical. He got a superiority 
God complex where he let the clout get to his head where he started thinking he got more clout than the niggas who's bringing this channel clout. He don't even respect niggas that much to be like, you know what? I know I'm a guest in y'all culture. I know y'all got me popping. Thank No, he be talking to niggas like he is the culture and niggas don't realize we could box this nigga the fuck out if niggas would just stick together. In the same way they boycott niggas, the same way we could boycott them. But niggas got to stick together, though. But that'd be too hard for niggas, right? That's a whole nother motherfucking topic. But, yeah, this is to disrespect a man who done been in this industry thriving for 20 plus years, damn near 30 years. I'm talking Marlon Wayans. Consistently at a high level with a legendary name and, and made his bones himself. It's not like he just ate off to his name or he just lived in the shadow of his name. No, he jumped out there and became one of the most prominent Wayans. So he made his own fucking, uh, he made his own bed. He didn't just eat off the name. He got out there, put his own work in and made himself legendary. Yeah, the name might have helped, but nigga, you still got to perform. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Peyton Manning, yeah, he's a Manning. He still had to go perform. Eli Manning's still a Manning. Yeah, he's a Manning, but he had to go out there and win them Super Bowls. The name gets you through the door, but the work you put in, that's what gets you in the history books. So he got himself in the history book. And regardless of if we agree with the LGBT shit he did, because I didn't agree with that little photo shoot he did or whatever the case, that's a whole nother topic. Oh, and this is another thing. DL fucking Hughley. While we on the topic of Vlad, I just seen this motherfucking buffoon. Not only did he disrespect Shanna Sharp on Vlad, mind you, he's a grown man. He has a right to his own opinion. He don't got to feel Shanna Sharp platform. He don't got to like what he's doing over there. But nigga, why did you have to get on Vlad's platform to voice that? Like you see the optics in that? You a black man jumping on a white Jewish man platform who's already shitting on another black man to join in and shit on a black man on a white Jewish man's platform. When you got your own platform, you're D.L. Hughley. You could have just turned your motherfucking live on or went on your own YouTube channel or started your own YouTube channel and voiced how you felt about Shannon Sharp's platform. Or you could have just hit Shannon yourself. Because I know you... Bro, y'all in the industry. He's not hard to find. You can get that nigga contact. Hey, bro, I'm not really feeling woo wop wop. This is how I feel about your shit. That's how niggas should be doing it. But if you want to play the content game, because I don't know if Shannon said his name before or not, but nigga, you could have put that out on your own platform. Or you could have went to a, a, a black platform and had this conversation. Fuck it. Bring Shannon to the show. That'd be more respectable, nigga. Y'all niggas keep doing this throwing rocks and hide your hand. Tell that nigga to his face you don't feel his platform. And y'all can settle y'all shit like men on a black-owned platform. And we can really make some progress. But nah, you want to jump on the man's platform to shit on your own kind. Like, bro, that's some goofy shit. Not only that, this nigga been running around campaigning for fucking Kamala Harris like a fucking goofy, trying to guilt trip niggas into voting for her, pushing this Democratic Party bullshit down our throat like... This nigga just been doing sellout shit to the point he had to get on Vlad and address that because niggas keep asking him, God damn, nigga, how much is the Democratic Party paying your ass? The way you you pressing this shit, how much are they paying you? This nigga crazy, bro. This nigga D.L. Hughley is wild. I don't know what the fuck wrong with this nigga. Why he got on Vlad to shit on another black man is beyond me. And why these niggas keep doing that shit is beyond me. Mind you, this nigga 40 plus. 40 fucking plus. Still falling for the okie doke. He jumps on Vlad, says Shannon Sharp is Wendy Williams. What he said? He said some slick shit. Wendy Williams with a muscle suit or some, some shit like that. Now, we all can say how we feel about Shannon Sharp platform. Some of us do feel it's drama related, but whatever the case, but however you felt, that wasn't the platform to say it on. Vlad's wasn't the platform to say it on, bro. 
Vlad has a history. Like this, the same nigga who got in a fucking debate about a hip hop rap beef, and then threatened to call a black woman's job at a prominent university to get her fired over her opinion on a rap beef, cause she let that nigga know, like, bitch ass nigga, you a guest. Your opinion it ain't even relevant. We ain't asked for your opinion. When we need your opinion, we'll give it to you. I'm gonna call your job. Does does um. I forget where she was at Princeton or some shit like that, or she was at Yale or one of them prominent colleges. Do they know this how you talk online or this how you feel? Oh, I'll be sure to let them know in the morning. Then when the whole community got on his ass, like nigga, what? Oh yeah, I was just playing. I wasn't finna do that. No, that's the type of dude we talking about. Somebody who's gonna get somebody from your culture fired from their job, trying to end their livelihood over a hip hop debate because his opinion. Is not respected. Is not valued. He want to be valued so fucking bad in the culture, when he should just shut the fuck up and sit back and be happy. We even allowing him to be a guest to eat off the culture. Like, bro, we gotta make a stand as a culture. Period. Point blank. Like, we don't even gotta like each other. But nigga, that nigga's taking a lot of money from the culture that could be ciphering through us, through somebody from our culture could be getting that bread. So all these millions of views and these millions of subscribers y'all bring into these fucking vultures that keep constantly shitting on the culture, you stupid ass niggas could be bringing that to us, to our culture, nigga. Whether we get along or not, whether you feel Shannon Sharp platform or not, okay, cool, go to somebody platform you feel. It's a lot of motherfucking black platforms. Pick one. Pick one that you feel. Or fuck it, start your own. How your homie start his own. Like something. It's too many platforms out here that we have that you could go and voice all these motherfucking opinions that you want and generate that revenue and generate that traffic and generate them subscribers through us. But you bitch ass niggas keep selling out. Why instant gratification? So shout out to Marlon for knowing his worth, number one, and for not going for the okie doke. Because that's what they do. They throw you some motherfucking crumbs and they get a boulder back. They only going to they only going to give you what they can get back 10 motherfucking fold. So if he's offering you 10,000 for an interview, how much you think he's going to make on the back end? If he's offering you 10,000 for an interview, how much you think he's going to make on the back end? So the nigga is mad that he couldn't finesse a nigga. So I'm gonna get out there and this, and so he's gonna get out there and disrespect everything you stand for as a man publicly because he couldn't finesse you and lowball you. These are the type of niggas that we allowing in the culture. So now I'm questioning the culture. What do y'all stand on? What do y'all stand for? How long y'all gonna let these vultures, vulture niggas like vulture the culture? How long y'all gonna let these niggas vulture the culture? Cause like real shit. Do y'all worship money that motherfucking much? It's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. Y'all make sure y'all share, like, subscribe to the channel, man. Run us up. Get us in the algorithm. Shout out to everybody staying 10 toes down. Y'all should have been boycotting these motherfucking vultures. They need us. We don't need them. That's what y'all don't motherfucking understand. They need us for their platforms. We don't need them. If you notice... Vlad don't call his people on his platform. He don't interview his people. Why? Because that shit don't generate no traffic. It don't generate no, 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 nothing for that nigga. And he know he can't play them games with his people because they're going to get on his ass. You think he could be bringing Jewish guests on there and doing the type of shit he do to niggas? Man, them Jews will push that button on that nigga so fast. His show will be canceled so motherfucking fast. Why? Because them niggas stand on business. Niggas don't stand on no business. Niggas will watch this nigga get break, watch this nigga get finessed, watch this nigga get fucked over, and still go do business with them niggas. And he gonna turn around and do the same shit to you. Why? Because he does not respect the culture. It's not even like this is a personal gripe where it's like, okay, I just don't like him as a man. No, he looks down on the culture. So if you are part of the culture, he also looks down on you. 
Yeah, he's gonna be friendly, do business with you, make it seem like it's cool till it's not. And when it's not, you're gonna feel it. He's gonna do the same shit to you. You see the shit he did with my son when they fell out. Oh man, yeah, my son, when he was in a hard time, he was in a hard space. I was giving that nigga money and woo wop wop and putting all his motherfucking business out there. Like the shit he came to you as a as a fucking man in a time of need at his lowest low. You put that out there publicly over a disagreement. That's the type of nigga that has no, no type of integrity, no value, no morals, no nothing. That's the type of nigga you go to for some, some, some life advice, and then y'all get into it. He turn around, oh yeah, man, this nigga. I remember he couldn't pay his rent. I had to help him. Like, bro, his track record already shows you what type of person he is. But yet y'all keep going for the motherfucking okie doke. When y'all gonna wake up? This ain't even about Marlon Wayans. This ain't about Shannon Sharp. This is about standing for the culture. Because our culture is the only culture that they don't respect because there's never no consequences when they come playing with us. Not while we here. Not as long as I'm wearing this viral way patch. Somebody gonna stand for us. If we gotta be the motherfucking ones on the on the motherfucking cross for the culture, that's what it's gonna be. Somebody gotta make a stand though. It ain't no revolution without the revolutionaries. Somebody gotta lead the charge. Somebody gotta take the step out there. Somebody gotta shoot the first shot. You feel me? The viral way, man.